There's an easy way to fix your credit. There's a hard way to fix your credit. And I'm going to show you how to leverage the CFPB to knock them out. So sit back, relax, grab a pen, get some paper, get something to drink. We go get straight into it. So when it comes to fixing your credit, there's a process. There's a process to remove collections, hard inquiries, negative accounts, accounts that got reinserted, accounts that were verified. If you have a bankruptcy or if the credit bureau is in a response to you within a timely manner, there's a process to fixing your credit. But most importantly, there's a procedure experience TransUnion and Equifax have to follow. And if they don't follow that procedure, guess what? You can leverage that specific procedure to knock the credit bureaus out. And one of the procedures is th that they have to follow is this one right here, 15 USC 1681I, right? But most importantly, Importantly, if you go down to sub chapter three, we're going to be talking about the disputed procedure, 15 USC 1681I. This is the procedure experience. TransUnion and Equifax have to follow. And most importantly, the things that we're going to be talking about is if the credit bureaus didn't respond to you within a timely manner, or if the credit bureaus, guess what? Then if the credit bureaus verified your account. So we're going to be talking about how to leverage the CFPB to get them accounts removed from your credit report. So first things first, let's talk about it. First thing you want to do is create an account with the CFPB. Now, if you don't have an account, go ahead and create a free account. And then once you're in your back portal, you're going to click on the right hand corner. I'm going to click on start new complaint. And you're going to be on a screen that looks similar to this. All right. So once you're on a screen that looks similar to this, you want to click on credit report and then scroll all the way down to the bottom click on credit report again and then from there what you want to do is just click on next all right now after you click on next here's the problem that is going on with you know experience transunion or equifax problem with companies um problem with companies investigation into an existing problem so investigation took more than 30 days all right so if their investigation took more than 30 days have you already tried to fix this problem with this company yes did you request information from this company yes what information did you request i request I requested for them to do an investigation and guess what? They didn't do it to me according to, so what information did you request? I requested, I sent the letter to Experian asking them to investigate these accounts. Did the company provide you with this information? No. So now you want to create a complaint based off of who, what, when, how, why, everything that happened. All right. So I was looking at my, I was looking at my report and noticed there were some things that were not correct. I sent the letter to Experian on February 1st or whatever date it was. And here's my tracking number, one, two, three, four. But it has been more than 35 days. Experian still haven't responded to my letter. That's a violation of 15 USC 1681 I, A1A. All right. And under this specific law, I'm not going to read this whole specific law, but this is the law that they violated. So remember, I'm not a lawyer. I'm not here to give you legal advice. I'm just here to show you the laws that the credit bureaus are violating and show you your rights, all right? So under 15 USC 1681I, this is a specific law that they basically violated. And then what you wanna do is just list your name and account number and delete this account immediately because of violation of this law, all right? So you wanna copy that as well, cut that. And then what you wanna do is just put that right here, okay? Paste it right here. And then from there, what you want to do is also attach the evidence. So if you have evidence from when you sent your letter in and if you have the tracking number from the time you sent it, then you just want to go ahead and take a picture of it, upload it. All right. Now, from there, what you want to do is just click on next. And then from there, what you want to do is who are we talking to? Are we talking to Experian? Are we talking to TransUnion? Are we talking to Equifax? All right. So you just want to click on the company that you're talking about. All right. So is it Experian that we're talking to? If they didn't respond to you within the timely manner. Fair information solution, click on social, name as a pair, date of birth, very important, all right? Social security number, put that information. And then from there, do you want to complain with another company? No, all right? The reason why you don't want to complain with another company, here's why. Oh, the reason why you don't want to complain with another company is because Experian, TransUnion, and Equifax only Experian probably had a response to you within that timely manner. TransUnion Equifax probably responded to you, all right? So that's the reason why you want to create three separate complaints. And also, there are accounts that only are on Experian that isn't on TransUnion or Equifax or vice versa, all right? So that's the reason why you only want to complain, you only want to complain with one specific company at a time and then just go back and then talk to TransUnion, create a complaint to TransUnion about TransUnion and create a complaint about Equifax. And I'm going to walk you through the process of what you need to do if your accounts came back verified, all right?
So now let's talk about if your accounts came back verified, what do you want to do? Let me walk you through that process, all right? So first thing first, here's what you need to do if your accounts came ba back verified, all right? You want to click on credit reporting, all right? And then click on scroll down again and click on credit reporting again and click on next, all right? Now, now who are we going to be talking about? Or what type of complaint we're going to be talking about is this specific complaint, all right? Problem with company's investigation to an existing problem. Their investigation did not fix an error on your report, all right? And then from there, have you already tried to fix this problem? Yes. Did you request information from this company? Yes. What information did you request? You requested them to provide you a description of how they verified your accounts, all right? Did they provide it to you within, did the company, did the company provide this information? No, all right? So what did I mean? When your accounts came back verified, you probably sent a letter asking them to provide you a description of how they verify those accounts based off of 18 USC 1681 I7, all right? Now that's the, what I'm talking about. And then from there, what you wanna do is just put in the complaint that way, you know, who, what, when, how, why, all right? So this is gonna be different from, um, from the other one. So I sent the letter, I'm sorry. I looked at my report back on February 8th, 2024, and noticed some things are incomplete and not accurate. According to the Fair Credit Reporting Act, whenever a consumer report agency prepares a consumer report, it shall follow reasonable procedure to assure maximum possible accuracy of the information concerning the individual about whom the report relates. All right. This account, account name 1234, is not complete and is not accurate. All right. So here's what I'm talking about. Account name 1234, open date is not reported correctly. Date last active, date of last payment is not correct. This account is inaccurate. And you could also list all the accounts that are who we talking to, all right? So if we're talking to Experian, TransUnion, Equifax, all of the accounts that you sent on that one specific letter. So I sent the letter to Experian on February 9, 2024, asking them to reinvestigate this account and then the account number, and here's my tracking number, all right? I got the investigation back, but notice nothing was modified or updated according to 15 USC 1681 I-5, all right? So I sent the letter on March 20th, 20, um, sorry, 2024, requesting a description of their reinvestigation and they did not provide it to me with it, which is a violation of 15 USC 1681 I-7. I did not receive the description of the reinvestigation, all right? So remove this account. So cut, cut this. And then from there, what we want to do is just tell them what we want to happen, all right? So we want um, we want to happen is remove this account, one, two, three, four, all right? And then from there, you can also upload the attachments that you sent the first letter the second letter and if you want to take a screenshot i mean take a picture of the tracking number you can also take a picture so you can show evidence and then from there what you want to do is just click on next all right now from there what you want to do is just click on who who are we talking to are we talking to Experian? are we talking to transunion are we talking to equifax all right so here's another example if we do an experience again experience information solution all right if we talk to transunion Trans, I like to use this one. This one right here. And then from there, if we were talking to Equifax. Information service. And then from there, what you want to do is just click on social, name as a pair, date of birth. And then, like I said before, Put your information in. Do you want to complain with another company? No. All right. And then from there, what you want to do is just click on next. So after you click on next, here's what's going to happen. Experian TransUnion Equifax is supposed to get back to CFPB and CFPB is supposed to get back to you within 15 days. Or Experian TransUnion Equifax might ask for an additional time. All right. They usually ask for an additional 60 days, but it doesn't usually take that long. All right. So just be patient. Give it a little bit of time and you should start seeing some results. If you haven't sent off your first letter, Make sure you grab my free secret letter. The link is in the description. Make sure you grab this letter.